and I'll be plugging in the tenth device and charging. to tell you guys about this very special ATX power supply. This has about uh, 10 USB ports where you can plug in 10 USB devices. You can also plug in a couple of 12 volt devices like routers or switches. But what makes it truly special is that I can control the 5 volt output and I can increase it or decrease it gradually. I built it in my final year of engineering uh, to power a Raspberry Pi cluster. A Raspberry Pi cluster in simple terms is basically a lot of Raspberry Pis connected together on a network doing different things. Uh, we had about 4 to 6 Raspberry Pis doing things like distributed computing, uh, load balanced web server and even simulating a complete cryptocurrency. Uh, we, we needed a way to power all these 6 Raspberry Pis without compromising on the performance. Yeah, we could have gone with six of the Raspberry Pi official power supplies, but then that would have been quite expensive and it'd be so messy to be able to plug in all the six adapters and managing all the cables for it. Hence, this happened. So when I was thinking about how I would power all these Raspberry Pis, I noticed that these ATX power supplies could output a lot of current at 5 volts. So this particular one can output up to 15 amps at 5 volts and up to 18 amps uh, at 12 volts. So I was like, this is a perfect situation. It made total sense. Uh, this can output 15 amps at 5 volts. I have five to six Raspberry Pis. I just need to convert all the five volt wires into USB ports. It made total sense. And it being a computer power supply, it also had all the safety features uh, which would be necessary. Uh, it had things like over voltage protection and over current protection so that I don't accidentally fry all the Raspberry Pis. But then I found out that the idling uh, output voltage at the 5 volt output is around 4.7 volts and yeah it's normal for such regulated power supply usually when you start drawing current from them the uh, voltage increases. The controller inside this power supply senses that there is a load on it and it automatically increases the voltage. So I wanted to try this logic and I attached a Raspberry Pi to it and the voltage instead went down. From 4.7 it went to 4.5. And this would no way work to power a Raspberry Pi. We have seen how worse they perform when you give them less voltage uh, in the previous video. <clears throat> I came to know that this power supply had a feedback only from the 12 volts. So whenever I drew current from the 12 volts, the controller would know that there is current being drawn and it would increase the voltage across all the different voltages. This was a big bummer. Uh, I would have to add some dummy resistors and that would end up in resistors getting hot and I would have to put heat sinks for it and that's a whole other messy situation. So I had to find a different way to get the 4.7 volts into something like 5.5 volts. So I had seen a, a few videos on the internet where people were messing around with the feedback circuit of the controller inside this and they were able to achieve variable voltage at the output. So I thought, let me try my chances by opening it up. And here's a disclaimer, please do not try to do it at home if you don't know what you're doing. There is a lot of dangerous voltage running inside it. There is live 230 volts inside this thing. And if you uh, don't know what you're doing, you might end up hurting yourself or killing yourself. This can kill you. Opening it up can kill you. Don't do it at home. I found the controller and I tried to Google for the datasheet. I was only able to find Chinese versions of it and there was not a single English version in sight. So at, at this point, all I had to go by was a Chinese datasheet and a rough reference design for how to implement a circuit for it. I pulled out my box of resistors and started trying out different values of resistors across the feedback circuit while I monitored the output voltage. It took quite a while to find a proper range of resistor resistance value so that it increased the voltage while not triggering the over voltage protection 
On this thing, over voltage protection for 5 volts triggers at around 5.84 volts. Uh, basically, I was making the microcontroller or the controller inside this think that there was a load on the output making it boost the voltage. I don't want to go too deep into the technical aspects of the feedback circuit and the resistance values and the uh, resistor divider network because this is more of a story than a how to guide. If you guys still have any more technical questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll answer them uh, there. Once I found the optimal ranges of resistances, I was able to combine it with a potentiometer so that I could vary the output voltage. Uh, I was able to vary it from about 5 to 5.81 volts uh, and uh, it's almost at the edge where it triggered the over voltage protection but it, it worked properly. After that all I had to do was add a couple of switches to turn on the power supply itself and turn on the voltage boosting uh, part of this. This actually worked out quite well and we used it throughout the final year of engineering for all, all our projects. Even now I do use it uh, occasionally to charge a lot of devices when I don't have a lot of adapters lying around and this still works very well. Before finishing up with the video, I do want to try something. Even though I've had this since one and a half years, I've never really plugged in to all the 10 USB ports and 10 devices charging at the same time. So I do want to test it live on camera. Let's see how it goes. And for the final device, I'll go ahead and plug in my own phone. This is damn cool. All these nine other devices are working flawlessly. Look at this. This is the 10th device. And charging. All 10 USB ports occupied and charging at the same time. That was fun. If you have made it this far into the video, I will leave you with a sneak peek into the next video which will be coming out this Sunday. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Come on, die. Die you black monster. Uh, I, uh. Come on, stop derping you fool.